girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalind. If you're new and we are at Amazon today, we are at the Amazon where they have the workers out and I think we have to go and get our own routes. But this is a three and a half hour shift for $79. So the goal, let me think, today, three and a half hours, I think I'm gonna get, we just gonna call 17 packages. No apartments, we probably going to a country town. Y'all comment down below how many packages you think I'm gonna get. But this is also the facility that they rush you. So you have to hurry up and get your packages and go. They do not play over here. So hopefully today we don't get any county roads. We just get like all neighborhoods. So we don't have to worry about any dogs. But I'm about to go get my packages, y'all. I'll tell y'all in a minute. So we only got nine packages today. I think I can put them all up front with me. Let's see. So all of the packages fit up front with me. I'm very excited, but it is far away. Like it's far away. And it's not by my house. But hopefully it's not by any dog. So I feel good about it. I'm gonna see exactly where we're going, how long it's gonna take. Let's see if this updates. So it looks like some of these pack, like one stop has two packages. So we're actually only gonna have eight stops. It does say that there's two county roads, so we are gonna have to watch out for dogs. But I don't think I've ever been to this area before. Let's see how far it is. The first stop is almost an hour away, y'all. 51 minutes. Whoa. And this is with their directions. Let me check mine and see how long. Okay, so in my directions, it says it's gonna be 52 minutes. Um, since we just have eight packages and it's gonna take, well, eight stops and it's just gonna take an hour pretty much to get there. I'm just going to call it. This is uh this shift is from 6:15 to 9:45. So I'm going to say they probably going to be spaced out and it's going to probably take me an hour to get home. So I'm going to say hmm. Oh, you know what? This is passing up my house. Yeah, I've never heard of this town before. So I didn't even know it was by me. So apparently, we're going somewhere close to my house. It's probably like 15 minutes away from my house once I get to my house. So I can't be too mad about that. Oh, oh no, it says 19 miles once I get to my area. Okay, but it's over there in my area. So let's see, eight packages. I think today, let's finish by, if 9.45 is the end time, let's finish by, let's just finish by eight o'clock. Let's finish an hour and 45 minutes early. I'll meet y'all at the next stop. We made it to the first area. I want to say neighborhood. I guess this is a neighborhood. It's just not like a subdivision. So we made it to the first neighborhood. And it took a long time to get here, y'all. Like once I got to the main road, it was 18 miles here. But I forgot to tell y'all that this is for $79. The three and a half hour shift. The three and a half hour shift is normally $63, so I did get a little bit extra money today for taking this shift. That's why I took it, of course. And plus, it's an early shift, so I have the rest of the day to do anything else. Uh, but we're just two minutes away from the house now. And y'all, I cannot tell y'all how excited I am about eight packages. And they all sitting up front with me. <laughs> like, this is it. I don't have to look for nothing. Well, I'm just gonna look for it right here beside me. I don't have to get out and look for it. So, man, what a what an incredible day! Oh my goodness, somebody is it toilet paper? Somebody toilet paper they house. I guess not they house, but they tree got toilet paper all over it. I don't know if that's some kind of joke, but I don't like to play like that. Don't come to my house throwing no toilet paper because that stuff takes forever to get down, like a spider web. I assume. But um, what if it rains? You know what I mean? Like you plan a joke, you toilet paper in somebody's house and then it rains? That stuff ain't gonna never come down. That's just disgusting. Okay, so I think we're making it to this first house. Hopefully it's not the house that these people are starting their car and they're about to leave. I don't think it is. I think it's the next house, okay. I don't like people to be outside because I don't want them to, I don't want to get them on video. Is this the house? They don't have any numbers on their house, but I'm going to assume that this is their house. And I'm in the street, but this is a dead end, so I don't think anybody's going to come out. 
I don't know. We let's park. <laughs> It stopped me here, so this is where we're going to stop. But there is no address for this house. Oh, it is. It is an address. It's the same color as the house. I can't understand how they want us to see that. How can you see that? Anyway, let's look for the package right here. It says it's a medium box. Oh, it's the first one. I didn't even put them in order. That was so weird. My app, it says that... I haven't made it to the house. This is the address. It's trying to take me to 203 for some reason. And we need to go to 209. So that was weird. Oh, y'all. The next one is on this street, too. Then they got two packages. So I'm delivering two packages to the next house. I wonder if it's closer to the street or down there by the dead end. I think it's down here by the dead end. So we're going to go that way. But, yeah, they got two packages. So we're going to deliver three of the packages right away. <laughs> on this first little street I feel good about it so we just looking for 115 now did we pass it up okay so it's gonna be on this side apparently y'all this is such a weird street like how do we go from 112 to 212 <laughs> I don't know and the directions they're not being helpful at all I don't even know if I can trust this because it told me that I was in the wrong spot over there so I think we get into the dead end. I'm going to have to turn around because I don't see where the address the address is. So it must be closer to the street or I passed up the house, one of them. I'm trying not to be in somebody's yard. We got a lot of people out here um, starting their car up this morning. So I don't want to be in their yard. People don't like you driving up in their yard, especially if you ain't delivering nothing. Like, uh-uh. I had a man come out. Well, I was actually delivering to him and he had, had like a... Uh, um, I'm gonna say like a gate, a makeshift like gate that he put on his um driveway, and I had got to the end of the street and I just kind of parked in the street, and he he came out like he came out like don't turn around in my house, and I I just handed him his package. He said, "Oh, well, you know, I just don't like people um going coming in my driveway, but you can come." Okay. Okay, sir. I think I was going the wrong way. It's counting down the houses now. I don't really know what my map is doing. Oh, okay, we getting we are getting closer. So it was me. Yeah, I don't know how to do directions this morning. So it looks like this is gonna be the house right here. And we just gonna pull up in their little driveway because this street is so narrow and people are trying to go to work this morning. So they have two packages. And let's look over here. We got one. We have the other. So we delivered three packages. It says the next one is three minutes away. I know I'm not this lucky. I know I'm not this lucky this morning. It's only three minutes away. It did take an hour to get here. It did take an hour to get here, but I just do not believe I'm lucky enough to have all of these packages in the same area. I fell in a ditch. <laughs> it's a little ditch. We pulled on out of there. Okay, so the next one's three minutes away. Like, what the heck? And I'm looking at the one after that, and it's not far away at all. Wow, I cannot believe that, like, all eight of my stops, I don't know if all of them... <laughs> Actually, let's look at the map because we got some service. I don't know if all of them are closed, but let's get like a preview of it um, while we have service. It says we only got six more stops, y'all. Okay, so they definitely are not all together, but I think the next three, or is that four? Okay, so the next three and then the fourth one is also like kind of close together and then the other ones are spread out. So we better hurry up. Um, the other ones might be 15 minutes away. We do not know. But so far, this one is two minutes away. This is such a small town I'm delivering in. And I don't know how many times the speed limit changed. Like, it's a speed trap. It went from like 55 to 40 to 35 to 30. So, I really had to pay attention to the speed because I'm pretty sure there was a police somewhere. <laughs> somewhere waiting for something to happen. And y'all wasn't finna get me. I'll meet y'all at the next house. We pull up to the next house. They have a big property. Like, all of that land is y'all's. Very nice. 
and they don't have a gate oh they have a circle driveway though we love a circle driveway okay so we're gonna pull into there we did not find a package yet but let me get that right quick because i don't want to find it while i'm inside i think it's this one let me scan it and see okay so it is this package and they have a circle driveway so we're gonna pull up in there and we just gonna walk it to the porch if you'd only open up your eyes, see me. I love a circle driveway. You can get out of the street and then you can walk directly to the door. Those are my favorite. I don't always go on them because sometimes they be looking a little bit too fancy and they be like, that's not for me. That's not for delivery. <laughs> but they have like a rock driveway. I just, I, get, I can't mess up a rock driveway, right? You know how yesterday it was like 51 degrees and I was like, it's springtime. It was just wintertime. Well, we back to winter. It's 23 degrees this morning. I think they said like 30 is 31 or 21. One of them is going to be the high for today. So it's going to be cold all day. But we was just in springtime yesterday. I love Texas weather. You just never know what you're going to get. It's, they keep it interesting. They keep it real interesting. <laughs> You don't know if you need to wear a coat or shorts. You just never know. I got to check the weather every morning to make sure that I'm not going to be overdressed or underdressed, especially when it's not summertime. So the next stop, it said it was three minutes away. We got two minutes left to get there and I'll meet y'all over there. We're pulling up to the next house and they had like some construction going on. So I had to go the long way. Also, they have dips in the street. Can we get a dip sign? Because y'all trying to <laughs> tear up all the bottom of my car anyway this is a new neighborhood y'all this is such a small town i didn't think they had new but we made it so let's go deliver this i know the next one might be far away though but let's just be happy about these first few I've been waiting there forever, can't you tell? so our next stop is seven minutes away which is not bad because i thought it was gonna be like 15 minutes away <laughs> since i don't have that many packages so seven minutes away is not too bad um, it's saying it's 4.3 miles and it's a box. CC's Pizza. It just says CC's Pizza, y'all. Like, am I taking it to a CC's Pizza? Well, if I am, it's going to the door because I know CC's is not open at 7.40. Also, I want it to be finished by 8 o'clock. That's definitely not going to happen. It's 7.40 right now and it's going to take us 7 minutes to get to the next stop. But we're going to try our best to get as close to 8 as possible. I'll meet y'all over there. So we made it over here to this long county. It's not even a county road, but it is country over here. <laughs> like, there's a lot of land. Um, I feel like we're going to go to a ranch or something. It says CC's Pizza, but, like, there's no, there's no restaurants over here. So, I don't know. Maybe CC's Pizza is... Maybe the owner of CC's Pizza or something lives over here because there's no restaurants. But we are one minute away and it's currently 747. So if the rest of the packages are not too far away, we may make our time. Ooh, got a whole bunch of rocks right there. Um, let me see if they got special directions. It just says beware of dog. I definitely will. I will always beware of dog from now on because I've been surprised by dogs. But you know what? When I was surprised by those dogs the other day, they took a long time to come out. They let me get halfway in the yard and I was just like, okay. Okay, it is a big property, I guess. They have a gate. So let's see, can I leave it at the gate is, is what I really need to know. Um, Let's see. Let's find the package first. Oh, it's this one. This is the first package I picked up. So I actually delivered this to the gate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here behind one of these little brick pillars. I don't know if I leave it over here by the gate or is it this house right here? It may be this house. I think I'm gonna deliver it to this house. Okay, I believe I was supposed to deliver it to this house right here. It doesn't really have a address on it, but I don't see another house down there, so. Hopefully, this is where I'm supposed to deliver it. It let me deliver it there. It didn't tell me I was in the wrong spot. Fingers crossed it's in the right spot. But if not, I'm sure they know whoever it's supposed to go to because it's like one property. The next one is seven minutes away, um, 2.7 miles away. So 
it's 7 50 right now um that's gonna take seven minutes of our time so i don't know we got three more packages so hopefully they're all in the same area i'll meet y'all over there we're so deep in the country the roads are all dirt we don't have any service on our phone like we deep we deep and then to get out of here to go to the next stop it's definitely gonna be like 10 minutes it, it has to be because how else do i get out of here we made it to the house they have a gate and it looks like they want us to go all the way down. It says the keypad is well to the pipe fence next to the large gate. Do not leave packages at gate. Bring them to the house. Um, front door and not the garage in the event it rains. Okay. So they want me to specifically bring it to their, their um, door. They want me to specifically bring it to their door. Let me put that I have arrived. <laughs> or that I'm, you know, I'm arriving because... I just don't want no problems. Oh, it's not going to let me put our arrive without scanning the package. So let's find it. It is this one. Okay, I notified him that I arrived or I'm arriving. And it won't even send the message. <laughs> it won't even send the message. We don't have enough service. Oh, it just did it. It just did it. We didn't have enough internet service to even say that we arrived, y'all. That we're arriving. But hopefully they don't have any dogs because I'm not going to be able to take it to the porch. Unless I can drive up to the porch. I don't see any dogs. They had their gate open so they knew I was coming. I don't see any dogs. And we are pretty close to, we at the garage. So we should be able to deliver this with no problem. But I know it's too good to be true. We delivered that package safely. I did hear a dog, but it must have been a dog like somebody in like their neighbor's yard or something because i never did see a dog but anyway why is the next stop 19 minutes away <laughs> but why but why we and it's eight o'clock right now y'all look at this i don't know if y'all can see this it's too bumpy but it's eight o'clock right now <laughs> we did not make our time it's fine this shift is not even over until um 9 45 i just want to be super early with it but the next stop is 20 minutes away y'all and we literally just have two packages i want to check and see if the other stop is by it let me look it's not it looks like that stop may be it don't look too far from it but you got to cross some water to get over there <laughs> So, I think these last two stops, they might be in the same area, but they're not necessarily close. But I know for a fact it's 17 minutes away. So, let me make this 17-minute drive, and I will see y'all over there. We made it to their property, and I don't know if this is like a main gate. Maybe this is a main gate. I don't know if this is their property gate, but it's already open, so we didn't even have to put in their code. It is 8.13 right now and we made it over here like a couple of minutes early actually okay so this is a whole neighborhood so they have a gate for the neighborhood and again we are on a rocky dirt road but i think we're about to pull up to the property now um they didn't say anything about dogs so hopefully they don't have dogs i am really nervous about dogs y'all i think this is the house right here yeah, this is the house. I'm going to pull into their driveway. They have a rock driveway. So hopefully they don't mind. But yeah. I'm real nervous about these county roads and these country roads and these properties that are in the country. Because <laughs> I really don't want them to have a dog that will jump on me. Anyway we have two packages so let's just it says it's the box so let's scan the box i did not see a dog but i did hear a dog they put their dog inside thank god um and i also seen like dog tracks on their driveway like in their mud so they do have a dog i'm so happy they was courteous today and put that dog away i can't handle it now this is crazy y'all you know how i was like yeah the next one might be the last one the last two might be close together they might be in the same area i don't know about that it say 16 minutes away y'all eight miles <laughs> we got 16 minutes to get there that is so freaking crazy but we'll still finish early though 
if it's 16 minutes to get there and it's 8 16 then we'll still finish by 8 30 ish just still going to be finishing over an hour early so i'm pretty happy about that um hopefully most of the time is getting out of this neighborhood but i will meet y'all over there in about 15 minutes we made it over here to the next house and it's a dirt road of course it's real rocky it's real bumpy it's real dirty but this is the very last house it's 8 28 y'all so we're gonna make it by 8 30. i wonder do i need to go that way or this way i think this way does it have directions it doesn't it just says beware of dog and i am i am aware <laughs> but i'm gonna scan this package this very last package so I can say I arrived just in case they do have a dog and we can, you know, they can get it or they can come out and monitor it. Um, let's see here. Let me text her, notify of arrival. One thing I wish they let me do is notify arrival before I scan the package because I like to be, I don't want to be right up here at their house when I notify them. I want to notify them when I get to their driveway. So anyway it's not even letting me send it i don't know i don't have enough service to even send it y'all so they know we're here now okay we delivered the last package y'all it is currently 8 29 i don't know if y'all can see that y'all probably can't see it but i need to got these folks short <laughs> it is 8 29 we're done we uh wanted to be done at eight o'clock but it's fine the shift is not even over until 9.45, so we finished well beyond the time that we were supposed to. I'm in such a country area. I'm in such a rural area that I can't even like close out my Amazon. It's saying try again, so I have to wait till I get out of this area to even complete the Amazon, but that's fine. I, I'm just so happy, y'all. I literally, it's 8 30 so i'm starting my morning even though i'm already finished working amazon like i can do anything today i'm sure i'll work but i can do anything today all right y'all thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like 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 comment 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 subscribe 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 also hit that notification bell so you know every time i post and lately it's been every day but going forward it will be monday through friday so y'all come back tomorrow i'll probably have a video out for you i love y'all so much for watching bye y'all